What do Volt Inu and Shiba Inu have in common? There's a lot of things. They started in cryptocurrency. They're both meme coins. But the thing that I'm going to focus on is that they've both been mentioned by Bloomberg and NASDAQ. I'm not sure if you guys saw the Bloomberg article. We're going to take a look at that, as well as a NASDAQ interview. If you're part of the Volt Army, smash that like button. Watch through the entire video and make sure to leave a comment below. Volt currently sitting at an $81.74 million market cap. As you guys know, the one-year anniversary is approaching here on December 19th. The token is currently on 99 exchanges, both decentralized and centralized. The first DeFi token to ever do this in the, hip, in the history of cryptocurrency. And now we're seeing them featured on Bloomberg. Yes, you heard that right. Major publication, Bloomberg. This article came out yesterday. Volt Inu said the voltage is meant to be spread. You can see here Bloomberg.com writing about Volt Inu. So they talk about Volt Inu going live on Polonia X and, and announcing a new exciting sponsorship. So we all know that the 96 exchange, tier one exchange, was Polonia X. And the exciting partnership that they talk about is the modern day warrior sponsorship that is set to air on one of these platforms. And I like to use my words wisely. I'm not saying it's going to be listed on a certain platform, but they say the documentary may air on platforms such as HBO, Amazon Prime, or Netflix. It was done by a very, very uh, great producer. It follows Jesse Arnett's story. He's fighting in, I believe, Cage Warriors. If I'm mistaken that, my apologies, but he's fighting. I actually believe he won the, uh, the belt when he went over to Dubai. So congratulations to him. I can't wait to see the documentary, but this is a Bloomberg article, guys. Yes. Bloomberg wrote about SHIB, and now Bloomberg is writing about Volt Inu. Now, secondly, we saw the NASDAQ interview, guys. Now, what is different from this than Shiba Inu? Well, we have community leaders that are doxxed on Volt Inu, right? So you have Power, Pablo, and Ozzy, the three musketeers we can call them. I say that respectfully. Those are my favorite candy bars. Uh, but they're having the NASDAQ interview, guys. They were on Volt Inu, or they were on the NASDAQ. The show was called New to the Street, 26,000 subscribers. This video got 3.6 thousand views uh, already. And if you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it here in the description, but it's the guys. And they're talking about Volt Inu. Like, look at this set. What other meme coin is on this set? The answer is none. They're on the NASDAQ New to the Street show, guys. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, to see here from these guys. And they did a really, really good job on this show. Like I said, if you want to watch the full interview, I will link it here. And trust me, I know these interviews and these uh, placements in Bloomberg and NASDAQ are probably paid for. They're probably paid advertising. I don't know for sure, but I would guess they are. Now, that doesn't mean that everyone can do it, right? NASDAQ, Bloomberg, they're evaluating these tokens, making sure they're legit. They're not just taking money from everyone. No token can launch tomorrow and say, hey, we want to get a NASDAQ interview. There's no money that can buy that, right? You have to build. You have to be legit. So NASDAQ is evaluating these. And I thought it was interesting. Volt, Inu, and SHIB both have these two things in common. They both had articles written about by Bloomberg. And they both had articles written by NASDAQ. But SHIB, Inu, I don't believe, had a video of community leaders or dev teams. These are Volt, Inu community leaders talking about the project, getting thousands of views on YouTube. It aired on Bloomberg. It aired on Newsmax. It's incredibly bullish. So shout out to the Volt, Inu community. Shout out to Voltoshi for getting this token on Bloomberg as well as the NASDAQ. And we look forward to the one year anniversary happening on Monday, December 19th. If you guys haven't yet, make sure to smash the like button and we'll see you on the next episode.